Hey, good morning, folks. I'm getting ready to head out and source for the day. I got about four orders right now to pack, but I'm going to wait till I get back later on and may have a couple more. So, by the time I get back to add to that, let me show you what I take with me. When I go up sourcing, got my skinny pup, veggie straws, P and J, uh, peanuts, cashews down in there. And then I got my cold area, put ice pack in there. I got me energy, water. I love these right here. Apple cider vinegar tonic and stuff like that. So anyhow, anyhow, that's what I got. Let me get out of here. Uh, it's about ooh, it's going on 9.30. And so try to get out for about half of the day and see what I can find out there and so forth. I pass all my junk out here. Right, not junk, money. And stuff like that. I got a, this stuff I gotta post. Uh, that bright, some of it yesterday, others from previously. I know another golf bag I got yesterday. I got that for like 13 bucks, 12.91. It sells pretty good, it sells for a hundred or more. And stuff like that. Bread maker does pretty decent. And stuff like that. And I had got one of these actually before. I had did pretty good. It had more, I think, to it. And I had sold it for like over 100 bucks. So, anyhow, right now, see what the weather is out down here. Overcast. It had been raining last night and stuff like that. So, I'll see you all down the road. So first thing I gotta do before I hit out, I guess, is get some gas there. Yeah, quarter tank. So I go in to fill up and then get ready to head on out from here and stuff like that. I just picked up my trash can right there. Next door neighbor's dog, he's hiding. Let me see if I can show y'all him. His name is Dallas. Yeah, he's been over there by his owner's truck. Um, he um, had my trash can knocked over. Um, but he tore in some of the bags. Probably didn't find nothing because I don't put much scrap in the bags and stuff like that. But that's the first time he ever did that. And uh, he really shouldn't be having him out like that. Just, um, just out and about. He gets, he said the dog gets loose on him and everything, but he's insecure as dog. Anyhow, let me get out of here and try to get me some good inventory. All right. Feeling different every day. I need a dose. Every now and then I'm missing. I got my times when I go ghost. But she mine. Okay, so now I'm about to get on the freeway here and head to my first thrift store stop. Uh, had to run an errand, had to put some money in the bank from my um, um, from my deposit from um, eBay, transfer over to another account. Uh, filled up my gas tank with gas and uh, did a quick stop at the gas station restaurant and I'm on my way y'all didn't hear that part huh? but I'm on my way and everything like that and I'll be back with y'all when I get my first stop alright first stop let's go in Okay, so folks, I just came out of the Goodwill. I picked up this, um, it's a wall switch timer, wireless. Anyhow, $2.92, I paid for it. Look, I have been open, but look at the instructions, everything is still with it. So it might be uh, uh, open, used, new, whatever. I sell it used, and they sell pretty good. It used, they sell for like 30 something bucks. Then I got this remote, it's not new. Uh, I paid three bucks for it. It sells anywhere from fifteen to nineteen dollars, and so forth. Sony remote, uh, IMTV 402A, 
And then I got this crazy old um, big speaker. It would have been an amplifier. You can see the speaker in there. I just can't tell what brand the speaker is. It's a paper edge speaker. It's not a foam image. But it looks like it's in good condition. The amp would have been back here. It's been pulled. And look at they plug directly to the speaker. And so I'm gonna pull this, I'm gonna take it home. It's gonna take up a lot of space in my trunk. But I'm gonna take it home and um and pull the speaker. It was only like uh yeah, seven bucks. And see um what speaker it is, and hopefully it's a it's a something that I can be able to resell. If not, then seven bucks took a chance. I see there's still so much space in my trunk, but I'll show y'all later um, what it is. So this next thrift store I'm going to go to, I call it the Nasty Thrift Store, and you'll see in a minute. Mm. Well, they got it cleaned up today. Usually it's nasty. I don't found good stuff out of here before, but not lately. I found some real good deals out here actually before. I'll tell you, show y'all what I found in a minute. So I'm gonna test this DVD VCR combo play out. It's a pretty good one. Toshiba. Her model number, let's see, SDV296. So this is why I usually test it in store. I grab a VCS tape and a DVD and see if it Easter tape or if it reads the tape or what. Uh, the DVD player is the main side because see it's ejecting the tape. Oh yeah. So, it ate the tape, no good. Hey, I forgot to show y'all what I got from the last store. This right here, the store I'm getting ready to go into, this is like my fourth stop, I believe. But let me show y'all. I stopped at the state sale real quick, but of course it's the first day and it was number of women's stuff in there. A bunch of glass, oh man, tons of glass, wear and stuff like that. So it was nothing there for me um, that I really cared to mess with and so forth. But let me show you where I got the last thrift store real quick. So from the last thrift store, I got these little banks here. This is a grocery store in Texas, H&B. Uh, you can see it says the Texas tradition. I never shopped there before, but I seen them in like mostly small towns. Cool little plastic bank, bank still sealed. They were like a dollar 41 a piece. And I think I got four of them. And one of them is out the bag, but everything is there. Then I got this right here as well. This is like a for floppy disk. Um, what was it? Three ninety three. It's two kits in there. Uh, yeah, mini disk drive head cleaning kit, and they do sell and stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure how much this one will sell for, but for that price, I figure I can do pretty good. I bust them out and do one a piece or something like that, and put it as a count of two. All right, let me go in here and stuff like that. See what I can find. And this will be like my fourth stop for the day okay so I got four speaker set for 20 25 bucks uh, pretty good brand uh, I, I sold these before so I better sell these two probably I can sell them individually like you can sell them, a lot of times you get $40 a piece free shipping on them and um, the two smaller ones I put them probably up there together I have to kind of look and analyze once I get them home and stuff like that. And this thrift store here, they stopped letting you take the card outside. So, but anyhow, and I, so I got that. Let me show you what else I got here real quick. Yeah, these are the other two right here. I took them out of the bag. I just used the bag basically to get them out the door. Uh, But I got a, another item from out there. So I, I, I think I got the, a, the same thing before. It's a vibrator, massage a vibrator. Only a vibrator. And this case right here is real nice. It's vintage. I paid 15 bucks for it. It's nice and clean. I, I wash it up and everything. Sanitize it. It works and everything. Nice case. Uh, that's probably like $70 for that and so forth. I'm finna get out of here and move on to my next locale 
and uh, continue to try to find some more good stuff. All right. All right, so here's my fifth thrift store. Another one I like going to. I get a lot of good electronics out of here. A lot of, a lot of good electronics. All right. There's some good stuff right here. Um, apple cider vinegar. Get my daily dose of vinegar and so forth. And this, uh, this right here is um, elderberry flavor and stuff like that. But let me show you how potent this stuff is. Swirl it up. You don't shake it up. You swirl it. Watch what comes up. What's that? See that come out the top? <laughs> so I didn't get enough for one item from my that thrift store there. I'll show you. What. I usually don't mess with these, but this one right here is something that told me to go look it up because Needing Fingers uh, 2000 commercial model, and that's what kind of got my eye. And it was like seven bucks, and it sells, you know. 50, 60 bucks, stuff like that. I think the last one sold for a little bit more than that. But uh, I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna head on in, um, take this stuff in, get some stuff posted, and get some stuff packed. All right, y'all. Woo. Try to um, drink the energy real quick. I'm back at the house. And it's because I gotta pack and get these packages out here. It's 3 or 5 right now. Post office closes at 5. I got. I probably have some packages going down to FedEx or UPS, one or the other. But I'll show you real quick. So my totals for today are 349. Uh, last seven days, 21. Last 31 days, 8. And last 90 days, 24. And so I got seven, um, two that need to get out within 24 hours. But all of them are getting ready to pack right now and so forth. So let me get ready to go. On. Let me get ready to go and pull them orders real quick and so forth like that and get them out the way, bring them up. I think I think most of them right here in my office. Uh, let me see. So so the first one, let me see. It's going to be a Phillips DVD player, uh, which I paid. Not, it's right here. This one right here, I just posted this one last night. And I had sold one not too long ago. It had a remote to it, and I actually sold this one for more without a remote. And um, so that one, that one I paid $9 for and sold it for $89.99. And let me get here, the Honeywell. Now I had got a bunch of Honeywell stuff, and I still got some left right here. I got a whole bunch of it and sold a lot of it already. I made a lot of good money off this Honeywell stuff. And this is going to be the dual motion sensor. And so I think it's this big guy right here. Yeah. And so this right here, when I had divided the numbers up on the whole bunch of this I had got, I paid, but actually I paid $5 for this because these were all priced separately and everything like that. I paid five dollars for this and sold it for twenty four ninety nine free shipping, and it go it go first class. It's you no, know, it's good enough to go first class, so that's cool. Uh, let me see what's next. Uh, what what I got here going on? I got, that's all. I got a water filter. That's out of my garage. Oh, um, this right here I posted yesterday. I got this. Um, it was a half price. It's regular 29 something like so I picked got 15 bucks and I sold this brand breast pumps before but I was I sold one brand new but not this model and so this one right here I paid 15 for it and sold it for 115 so that's <clears throat> that's a that's a good deal so I got them three right there and then next I got a Jensen loud speaker Jensen loud speaker on that baby uh, I think that's it right there. Yeah, this is the power adapter to it. And this is the speaker. Small guy. And this is, I never ran across this this right here before. My first time ever selling one of these. It's just a Jensen loudspeaker. It says the original dialogue loudspeaker by Jensen. And so forth like that. Um, so anyhow, I, I paid $10 for it. 
and I sold it for eighty nine ninety nine. So that's pretty good. Yeah, I got so I got I see two items I can get from out of the garage. This next item, let me see where it's at. It's, it's pet safe. Uh, you know that might be on the garage too. It's like a, a, a electronic fence for. Oh no, here it goes right here, right here for a dog. Keep a dog within the boundaries. It got the collar with it. It got the power adapter. Got the instruction book. Got the flags you put up. And it got the unit right here, and so forth. And um, yeah. So I picked this up for. Um, let me see. Hmm. Yeah, I picked that up for forty bucks. So I paid a little bit for that and sold it for one hundred nineteen. And so let me go out here and get my last two items, which is the typewriter and the water filter. Um, okay. I got the motion sensor switches in the wash room area there, out in the garage. That one comes in by itself. The other one, I got this from Walmart. And it was working at first, and then now it's not. I have to manually turn it off and on, but it's okay, and so forth. Um, let me see. So the typewriter, so this is the garage. This is where I keep a lot of my inventory out here. On these three, well, four racks. I got it back there as well, right here. As you can see, a lot of inventory. All this stuff right here needs to be posted. Uh, I think I said something about like that earlier. More inventory. And I got some up there too. Uh, and stuff like that. So anyhow, typewriter, typewriter, where you at? Mm, mm, mm. I think I see it down here. So I was surprised how much this typewriter, this model actually sells for. And for some reason, I don't know why, but it took me a little while to sell this one. And the funny thing that happened is that the lady who, she brought it yesterday. And then she messaged me as soon as she brought it and said, um, I forgot to change the address and I needed to go to a different address. It's for a gift. And a lot of times this is somebody reselling. And they don't, um, sold it on another site, whatever. They want you to ship it directly to that person. So I told her I had to cancel the order and um and she, she can repurchase. So I canceled the order and I thought she uh, uh I, I sent her a message. I said, okay, I canceled the order, it's ready to be repurchased. I reposted it. And then she messaged me this morning and say, Okay, uh, I'm I'm ready to buy it, but I don't see it. Well, you waited all that time, and what happened, somebody else. When I reposted it, it shot it, I guess, back up to the top, and somebody else got it. And so I messaged her and said, sorry, you missed out, blah, blah, blah. And um, did somebody else must purchased it. I thought you had purchased it. And, and, and let me show you the, what I'm talking about right here. So that way, if that's one, you'll know. It came in the box and everything. It's the top right. I said that it needs new ribbon and so forth like that. And um, I, I paid like $5. I think I paid like five dollars for this thing, and um, sold it for um, nine nine dollars free shipping, and so right there. So it's in its own box. I'll just make sure it's padded good and everything. <laughs> so I got this band right here, A ten. This is the filter I just posted this yesterday, as well. In fact, I use this in my shower. This filter right here, um, they last for a long time. I think like six months or so, maybe even a year. I'm not sure, but. It lasts pretty pretty good long time and everything. And so, so let me get these in there. And then I'm gonna get packing. And get these orders, excuse me, get these orders out of here. Um and so I can get back and um I'm gonna eat dinner probably and then post later on this evening and, and get some more orders out. Okay, folks, I'm gonna call it a day. I just got finished for posting a few items. Um, took the packages, been on took them down. I had to spend some time down there in front of UPS because the typewriter that sold, uh, I got it confused that I tried to cancel the order last night because I had a, I was hurry, hurrying up trying to get on the Zoom call. And I, tried, I thought I canceled the order. 
I told the lady um, that I canceled the order. She can go back in there and buy it because she wanted to change the address. And found out um, that I guess I didn't cancel the order. I thought it sold again, but it didn't. So I thought somebody else, I said brought it. So I told her that, well, somebody else got it because she, she didn't message me back until the morning, this morning. Anyhow, long story short, when I scanned it in, I mean, when I printed the label, and UPS scanned it in, she said she got an alert that it was coming her way. So I, so anyhow, I goofed that all up. The lady, I had a lady having a panic attack. And so I haven't heard back from her, but I did refund her $20 as a courtesy and stuff like that. And um, just kind of, you know, because I screwed up pretty bad. So that's what I kind of do sometimes when I screw stuff up. I don't mind refund, giving the customer a partial refund, even if they don't ask for it. I think it's just good business practice and so forth. But I'm going to call it a night and stuff like that. Hey. So my day has ended at, I did for 517 for the day, 517 and stuff like that. And um, they got one more package to ship, but I wait till the morning to ship that and everything. And I just want to show y'all real quick what I'm at for the last 12 months. Right now I'm at 92.5 for the last 12 months. So it just goes to show you that, you know, um, I should, I hope I can end the year at a hundred thousand. I don't know if I'll be able to or not, but I'm hoping I'll be able to, and that'd be great. And everything, gross profits and so forth. Cause you know, eBay includes everything in that number you've seen, tax, sales taxes they collected, and all that and so forth. So anyhow, I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna get busy tomorrow posting. I got some stuff I want to get posted up. I got some big stuff I want to get posted up in my garage and everything. And then um, I, probably, I might not go sourcing tomorrow. I might wait until um, Saturday. All right, folks. Talk to y'all later.